What is up you guys, it's your boy Ruler Stills here and today is May 10th, 2018. Now if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, any of my social media, you should know that today is a very special day because today is my birthday and you know, I mean, I've been hyped for it all year, I've been hyped for 17 years, another year to grow. I'm actually recording this on the 9th of May, so a day earlier. <laughs> um, so it could be out the 10th, uh, but yeah, um, it's my birthday, it's, you know, and I just, uh, I just want to thank everybody, uh, ev everybody, uh, for being a part of my journey and my story of where I come up with, and, uh, I want to, I want to give a huge shout out to my friends and family, my closest friends, shout out to Edwin, shout out to, shout out to all my cousins and shit like that, uh, shout out to all of y'all, cause, um, without you, and your inspiration, this wouldn't be possible. Um, what's it called? Um, shout out for Ed to Edwin for sometimes being the one who, the one who most believes in me when nobody else does. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys about uh, about uh, how I how I've grown and let you know a little bit more about me. Um, th this is gonna be a video where I talk a little bit more about me. Um, I am currently 17 years of age as of today. Um, I was born May 10, 2001, and um, I was a very poor kid growing up. Like I didn't have like the I didn't have like the nicest toys and the and the nicest stuff. Um, but um, I grew up in uh, in a small town in Illinois called Waukegan, and uh, shout out to Walk Town all the day. And shout out to Walk Town, you know, Walk Town all day. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, and that that was my hometown. That was where I grew up with uh, until I was eight years old. And uh, when I was eight, I moved here. But let me tell you a little something. Uh, when I, when I was small, I had I was in and out of the hospital. There was a whole bunch of shit that was wrong with me that I can't even. Uh, I don't I don't even know to this day. But a shit ton of stuff was wrong with me. Uh, and yeah, my parents just had a lot of time, uh, a lot of hard time paying the rent and paying stuff like that. And I just let you know, uh, I just like to let you know a little bit inside my life. Cause now you see all this shit, but like, I didn't start out like this. Like, uh, I started, this bed started out on the floor, just a mattress, you know, not even some nice sheets. But anyway, um, and yet I still don't do my bed, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, uh, and when I was eight years old, I moved here, uh, that I still consider it to be one of the most traumatic moments of my life because, um, when I moved here, I lost, um, all my friends, my family. I have nobody here in where I live. In case you didn't know, uh, I live in another small town. Well, not, not really that small. Uh, I live in a town called Springdale here in Arkansas. And so, um, yeah, it's not, not very much happens here. It's a, it's a pretty chill, chill county, just like all the rest of them. But anyway, um, I mean, yeah, I just grew up here. I went, I went to school. I've never been a guy who gets good grades in school. Like I, I've just never been that kind of person, you know. So that that just never has been me. I've always been a troublemaker though. Like I've always, I've always had trouble following the rules and doing shit. Um, the first time I got in trouble in a school here. Uh, I believe I stabbed a girl with a wood chip on the playground. That was some childish BS. Cause like, to be honest, like the girl wasn't even hurt. Like I don't know how I fucking stabbed her, but apparently I did. And some mom came up to the school and was asking like, who, who the fuck stabbed my daughter? You know. But anyway, um, that that happened. Um, the biggest time I got in trouble really, uh, was when. <laughs> Was when I was in junior high when I was put on uh, when I was put on probation for disorderly conduct for trying to fight a guy who was trying to fight me. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've always kept a I've always kept a huge um, I've always kept a huge record of always getting in trouble and shit. And if I had a file on if I had one of my folders on file, I would show you. Actually, I think I do. Give me just a sec. Give me just a sec.
peep my ass. <laughs> All right. Now, this is a special treat because I didn't intend on showing this. In fact, I didn't intend on doing half the things I'm doing in this video. I didn't intend to tell you about my life, too. But fuck it, it happened. Uh, I made this as a record. Uh, it says 6th through high school. I'm guessing that means 6th sixth, sixth grade through high school. Uh, info on ISS record, grade records, and much more. Okay, let, let us see what are some of the highlights of my life. Um, spring fling flyer. I didn't go to that. I'm just gonna move this over there so I can put papers right here. Um, some of this stuff I might not show. I might just go over it. And don't get mad at me, but um, but um, these are some of the things that I don't want to show. Ooh, this was a good one. Um, Springdale schools in school suspension, student referral grades. For Four through seven, Israel Martinez, male, uh, sixth grade, HMS, Hispanic. Uh, this student is assigned in school suspension for two days, beginning on 12, 13, 12. Damn, this was like around December. And the the description is this is Israel's sixth behavior mark in this nine weeks. Damn, I had a lot. Um. Pfft. And basically, it has a whole bunch of bullshit. This was when I was supposed to go to another school. Um, look at my fucking signature, though. Wait, did I? Uh, yeah, what's it called? I don't want to let you guys know, see, see a whole bunch. But, like, look at my fucking signature. That was my signature back in the day. All right, this is quarter two schedule. For Israel Martinez at Hulster Middle School. Let's see. Let Let's see what what were my classes. Um. Home base. Yo, I remember that teacher. Yo, I remember that teacher too. Okay, okay. So here's a story. Um, when I was in sixth grade, I had this teacher. Uh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna give his name for privacy reasons. But um, he he uh he uh I had him for science and math. And that guy didn't really like me. And one day, um, one day I was in his class and uh, we had a free. We didn't do anything in his class that day. And um, uh, I was I was uh, over there looking by magazines and shit like that, um, just trying to read something, you know. Uh, and I found a magazine with this address on it. And I was just fucking around with him and shit like that. And I was like, Yo, sir, I found your address. And here it was. And that guy ended up threatening to shoot me. And it got to the point where my dad went to the school and my dad was mad. My dad was about to fight that guy. That that was funny. Um, okay, what else? What else did I have? Okay, nah. None of this is really important, but... Yo, honestly though, look at my... Look at me. Yo, wait. Yo, glow up or what? Look at that. I don't I don't know if you can see that. Take a good look at that. Yo, glow up or what? I was ugly. I still am ugly. All right, let's check what else is in here. Oh my god, this is bullshit. So, the reason it says I got written up here is because um and this is quoted said hell in class several students confirmed so a whole bunch of dumbass niggas ratted me out but yeah that was that thing um let's see what else let's see what else oh i have my locker combination on here um There's not really much in here. Called student inappropriate name during class. Uh, admitted to steal food in the cafeteria. Admitted to this behavior. Oh my god. I stole food in the cafeteria? When did I do that? 
Yo, where? Where's this from? Where did I get this? I love guns. What the hell? I haven't even been that big of a gun enthusiast anyway. Um, let's see. This is a... Uh, this this is my report card. Damn, I was a pretty good student. I had a C in science, a C in social studies, a C in math. Damn, that was in the good old days when I had C's in math. What the hell? Um, uh, I had a C in English too. Damn, th those were the th those were good. Damn. So in the first quarter of my sixth grade year, I had four behavior marks, which are basically like write ups. In my second quarter, I had seven. Fuck, I was a badass kid. Like, I don't mean to jerk myself off. Oh, shit. This is another report card. This is for what quarter was this? Uh, second quarter. Uh, for second quarter, I had a D, a B, two Fs, four Fs. Damn. Well, actually, that counts as two Fs. Um, damn. I, I, will, I didn't have my shit done back then. Yo, where did I get these pictures? Oh shit, these pictures are from Fun City. Or yo, this was when like I was a kid. Look at that, bro. That's a fucking glow up right there. Look at that. Look at that nigga. Uh anyway. Uh what is this? Spring of Public Schools, section five oh four. Um This is bullshit. I don't wanna read this. Uh these are just more test scores. What is this? Detailed information for Israel. This is. Yeah. Yo, I'm actually getting thirsty. Like, what the hell? Yo, so this is in trouble with the law, right? Yo, 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 yo. Check it, check it, check it. Give me a good minute to get this off my lap, and then I will read this to you. All right, so. Uh, I just told you guys about the about the stuff with the court, right? That I got that I got a citation for disorderly conduct when I was in eighth grade. Um, so this is a uh, an arrest paper from the city of Springdale. Oh fuck, I'm not sure if I'm I'm allowed to show that. Uh, city of Springdale, uh, citation to appear Israel Martinez. Damn, this was in order of the arrest. I remember. Because the resource officer said uh, he had a warrant for my arrest. So they were about to pull up to my house and put some handcuffs on me. Um, damn. Uh, offense committed disorderly conduct. Um, damn. That was that was big. Here's the actual uh, arrest booking report. Um Damn, how prisoner released the parents. They didn't actually lock me up that time. Uh, they had me, um, they, they, they said they released me to, to my parents. Yeah, right there. Fuck, man. This is like going back. Shit, man. This is like going back. Alright. Alright, so I read that to you. That was, that wasn't shit. <laughs> I'm still the same guy I am today. And I'll probably, I'll probably say that the court couldn't change me. I changed the court. That's a damn straight fact. Um, what else? Uh, made an appropriate movement with tape dispenser. Oh, fuck. All right, so I got to tell you this. So in the seventh grade, uh, seventh grade is usually where you start learning about girls and shit like that. And uh, seventh grade was where I learned... Um, I learned about masturbating and shit like that. Now, that was weird. I didn't masturbate in class. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but there was a tape dispenser. And um, there was some there was some guy who used it, uh, who, like, was acting like he was jacking off with the tape dispenser. And I thought it was funny, so I did it. And the teacher caught me. So this is the writer for that. A shout-out to that teacher, though. She was the best. Um, some bullshit I don't want to read. Uh, my fifth grade graduation award certificate. I don't even know when they do that shit. No, no, this is actually pretty worth it. Oh shit, my computer just. Alright, my computer's still recording. Alright, um. 
No, no, this is really worth it. Let me. Oh, here's another write up. Uh, no book or work. Failed to give teacher agenda after three requests. Insubordination? Damn. Wasting time in class? Fuck. Damn. Elmdale Field Day Nine. Playing punching game during class. Okay, so me and my friend love to play this punching game. Uh, we were playing punchies and shit like that, and we got in trouble for it, but it was totally worth it. Totally worth it. Um, you can probably hear my dad's voice outside. Um. No, none of this is... Oh, uh, here's another write-up. Second missing assignment. I got a lunch detention for it. Eh, not that big of a deal. Uh, third behavior mark. Third missing assignment. All right. All of, the, all of these are really nothing. I just wanted you guys to take an inside look into what my life has been. Um, it... Really, I have I, I've had a okay life. It hasn't been bad. It hasn't been like oh my life is shitty. Oh my life is this not. Nah, it hasn't been like that. Um, but it has been rough sometimes, especially when you know like, especially when you have problems and shit like that that you have to go through and stuff like that. Um, shout out to the people who taught me the way. Um, <laughs> taught me the way. But anyway, uh, yeah. Shout out to those people. Shout out to um. Shout out to my friend Edwin again. Uh, I just want to give a huge shout out. I want to also give a huge shout out to my brother Loyalty, um, who I met as Jory Landa Verde in eighth grade. And um, what's it called? He's been a big influence in my life. He taught me about the game, gang. He put me in the gang. He helped me out through all this shit. Um, he's always been there for me. And like, shout out to him. If you're watching this right now, bro, huge shout out to you. Um, but anyway. Um, I don't know what else to talk about, really. That's really been my life. Um, stuff that I like. Hmm. Favorite food. Favorite food would have to be tacos. Um, favorite show, Dragon Ball Z. I am a huge... Dragon Ball Z is gangster. Like, if you don't think Dragon... If you think Dragon Ball Z is lame, Dragon Ball Z is better than my eyebrows. <laughs> I mean, it's not really that hard to be better than my eyebrows, but anyway. Um... Dragon Ball Z is the shit all day. Um, I like fighting movies. My favorite movies are Rocky. Um, the whole Rocky franchise as a whole. The Karate Kid, Karate Kid 1, 2, and 3. Uh, the original one. The original one with Mr. Miyagi. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't have any other favorite, um, favorite things. Uh, in case you didn't know. Uh, I play the piano and the guitar and the trombone. Uh, those are my three instruments. And th this is my life. <laughs> this is uh, Rootless Stillas in the flesh. Um, this is who I am. I'm just a 17-year-old Israel Martinez who loves to be outgoing. And from, when I, from the time I was small, I always knew I wanted to be something. Uh, I always knew I wanted to be like a singer or a rapper. I can sing too, don't get me wrong, I should probably sing, um, alright, uh, but yeah, uh, I've always wanted to do something, I've always wanted to be on stage, I've always wanted to be prevalent, be an actor, um, be a rapper, be all this kind of stuff, I've always wanted to be somebody, and I feel like that's what I've been really been pushing forward, that's why I work so hard as I fucking do, that's why I do shit every day, um, uh, pfft. Uh, videos might get slow here in the next like year or so because um, a look into my personal life is uh, I'm joining the army I'm joining the US Army so I'm gonna be a soldier uh, and yeah uh, that's just something I want to do because it's something that I've also always wanted to do since I was a boy even though I'm not, I'm not gonna be out there fighting you know um, I I feel like that is my only option and um, yeah, that's what that's what I'm gonna do. So, um, yeah. Other than that, uh, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Um, 
my favorite grade in school was kindergarten. Um, yo, um, I've always been like a huge, um, how do you call it in English? I've always been like a huge guy that's into girls, you know, like I've always been in a girl fanatic and shit like that. It hasn't been just like when I was a teenager. I've been like a, I've learned, I've been like a pervert little kid since I was like four. I was like fucking around with girls and stuff like that. Actually, nah, not even, not four. What the fuck did I say? Um, first grade. Yeah, first grade. That's what I meant, not four. I meant to say fourth grade, but then I remember just first grade when I had my first girlfriend. Uh, she was black, so like, as you know, that got damn crazy. That was, that was good. Uh, shout out to all my black brothers and sisters out there. Um, but yeah. Anyway, other than that, I've just always been, like, a huge lover boy. And, like, I have feelings, too. Like, it looks like, like, all oh, rootless is just the name, not the lifestyle. And really, to be honest with you, it kind of is. Like, I'll get down at the end of the day. Don't, uh, don't worry about it. You piss me off and hell yeah, shit is going down. I don't give a fuck who you are. But, like, at the end of the day... No matter how hard you are, how hard, don't get this the wrong way. No matter how hard you are in like your personality and your being, you always have a soft spot for something. And I have a soft spot for a lot of things. I'm a human, you know, like I cry. I have emotions. I have other shit that some people don't understand. And to all these fucking haters, dude, like, oh my fucking God, like I've become, I've become more open to it. Now people yell. Hey, Stilla's in the hallway, and, like, I don't turn around and, like, get mad and shit like that. Now I just accept it, because that's who I am at the end of the day. Um, I am, that. that's who I am. That's who I've always wanted to be. And, yeah, other than that, um, I don't know what else to tell you. I just know that that's, that, that's who I am. That's who I've always been. Um. And like I said, I'm a human. I have emotions. I have times where I fall. Um, what's it called? I've been trying to get over some stuff that I still haven't gotten over. Like, what's it called? I've been trying to push anti... People say that I've been trying to push anti-drug and anti-alcohol. Um, so songs and lyrics like that. And when really, when you think about it, I have because I've been like invoking that in my music and like it's been prevalent in me and it's just been um something that i've been something that i've been trying to push to young kids that you don't have to do that kind of stuff you know you can be different than the past generation was you don't have to go do all this kind of stuff but at the end of the day i'm still i'm still a man and i'm still like a guy who you know like who you know like um has tough emotions over shit and he also has his sensitive moments like with a girl, you know, like, I'm not gonna be this person, this ruler still has got with a girl, you know, like, I'm gonna be like, yo, what's up, girl, you know, shit like that, um, um, I don't know what else to tell you about my personal life that I want you to know, um, and, and just to not, nah, never mind, I wasn't, I'm not gonna say that, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that, maybe when I hit, uh, Maybe when I hit 150 subscribers, I'll say what I was going to say. Uh, I just want you to know it has to do with my sex life. So if you um, if you want to know more about that, you best get me to 150 real quick because um, I'm at 90. Um, but yeah, anyway, other than that, I think that's going to do it. Um, again, I just want to thank from now all the birthday wishes, everybody. Uh, I truly appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart and you know like all of y'all are so relevant in my life and yeah uh, that's gonna wrap it up for today uh, if you click up there you should be seeing my latest reaction video with my latest song if you click up there you should um, be clear you should be seeing my face and you should know to subscribe to it so you get every notification and so you can help me reveal that big secret but yeah anyway other than that I'm going to leave you guys right here. Later.